when I wear those goggles and I yeah. turn my head, it actually does track oh, really? both directions. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, size helicopter, whatever I'm turning my head, I can see that. Uh, sweet. It's got an uh, autopilot in here uh, called a Ruby by a guy named James Hall. Oh, that's in the middle, that's uh, Connecticut or New Jersey or something. He actually quit making them for civilian use and got a contract with the government to control. So that's the kind of autopilot system that's inside of this. This frame is a lot heavier than I'd like it to be Very nice. because it's not actually carbon fiber, it's G10. It's all powered off of uh, one, sorry, uh, so four cells. It's running on 14 point eight cells, 5,000 This plane, because it has characteristics of a sailplane or a glider, yeah. once it gets up there, if you get it in the right thermal, uh -huh. It can just, you can kill the throttle all together and it'll just start. Really? Well, you can say, you know, conserve the battery. So that's the battery that powers this. Wow. Another thing is inside is there's actually a microphone that transmits audio down so I can hear if there's any, you know, if the motor bearing goes on. It automatically stabilizes it. And then I have a, um, I have a slider on my... So if you're controlling it, how far can you control it? How far this tilts this down? So because... Is there, Instead of pre-programming it. So, I will run out of battery before I ran out of distance. Oh, really? Uh -huh. There's people who have the same setup. Um, obviously, around here, I don't really have the luxury of testing it. Right. A lot of these people are out in the Midwest, uh -huh. or just, you know, they'll go out to the uh, Black Sands Desert, Black Rock, Black Sands, whatever, up in Nevada, and uh, they'll fly out there because it's just open, right? So they can fly for miles. One guy did a 152-kilometer round trip. So he was out about, what, 75 miles? Yeah, well, that's amazing. What frequency? Sorry? On what frequency? 433. How much bandwidth you have, though? Say again, I'm sorry? How much bandwidth you have on the 433? Uh, well, we, so when we start out, we can broadcast it high or low. I always just use low, which is 250 milliwatts um, for the, the 433 megahertz for the control. Just control, OK. The full thing. Uh, but you transmit video, too? The video is on 1280 megahertz. 1280. Yeah, yeah. 1000 milliwatt. Well, actually, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, is the uh, dual antenna necessary? I mean, how, how does that help compared to the single? How much better range or reliability? It's probably overkill. Okay. As but a matter of fact, I'm quite certain it's overkill. But you want to be safe. Similar to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is all about the safety. If you yeah. see, I've got filters everywhere as well. I so saw that, yeah. I've got the low pass filter here for video. Okay. You know, I've got the dual diversity antennas there on the receiver, and then I've got the notch filter here for the Moxon antenna, which is essentially okay. like a Yagi antenna. Okay. Um, with this setup, again, you know, if I was able to catch a thermal, I could probably fly from my house in South San Jose to so San Francisco if I had enough power. Yeah. And still have good video as well. And was that 1.2? What's your video? Uh, 1280. 1280. 1280. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And then it's all received back on this ground station. What? Ah, okay. Here is the secret. <laughs> so this is the okay. double cross arrow pepper box. Okay. So this has a 180 degree horizontal plane. Okay. Uh, it's not ground plane dependent, which is nice. And it's got a 65 degree vertical. So what I'll typically do, uh, just to get a little more altitude, is I'll kick this back, you know, here or here. So I've got a nice, you know, 10 to 15 degree up. So then what was 65 degrees is now 75 degrees. That's more than enough. And the further out I fly, the higher. You just have to make sure you stay high enough when we go out. Well, to make sure I don't get, or does you know, it have 65 if it's, if it's like well? this, and it's just 65 from the center okay. axis, and I go, you know, super high, then you're all I'm going to be outside of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the radiation. It's look like two polarization here. Yeah. And then, so what this does is, the plane transmits the video down to here, it's received, and then so I don't have to be tethered to this ground station, I retransmit the video back out of this ground station on... 5.8 gigahertz to the goggles. Oh, okay, okay. So you have 5.8 also. No, nope, just, yeah. just just here. So it's oh, like a I see. Repeater, got it. Okay, interesting. And you fly through the GoPro, or do you have a separate yeah. camera? You do. Really? I fly it all through the GoPro. Oh. And you haven't had problems with that? The latency? Or? I guess you're flying high enough for. Uh, 
Yeah, I haven't, I've never had a single problem with it. The That's great. So where do you fly around here?